to of getting this room ready for my friend to come visit. Quick recap, it's my husband's office and also our fourth bedroom up in the attic. This is what it looked like when we first bought it. In part one, you saw me not give a fuck and paint the trim white and take down this Harry Potter rail. Two hours later. Going pink, guys. And yes, my husband doesn't care. I love Farrow and Bull paints, but their paint is shit. So I went to Benjamin Moore and got it color matched. You'll need one of these lids for your paint tins because it stops it from spilling everywhere. It's amazing. You leave it on and when you're done with it, you just pop this little thing down. Not like this. She's coming at the perfect time because I need an excuse to do this room as we're selling the house soon. Because we're moving to good old Blighty. The big smoke. Where I call home. Currently living in Boston, USA and it's just not working out for us. And yes, this paint has no boundaries. It's going on the ceiling as well. I love cutting in. Call me weirdo, but I love it. My husband's watching the Patriots this evening. So I got myself a chocolate cake and a drink and here we are. I know what you're thinking. It's amazing, but the floor is shit. That just won't do. So we're going to need to find something to cover it up. 